Hey everybody and welcome back to Spruce Hill. My name's James and today I've got an unboxing video for you guys. Today we're gonna be looking at these Oxbow Renegade 2.0 walkie talkies. We were looking for some walkie talkies that we could use while plowing and we didn't wanna get CBs. So we decided to just go with the longest range walkie talkies we could find. So after doing some research, I finally found some walkie talkies that fit all our needs. As I said earlier, these are Oxbow Renegade 2.0s. There's also an Oxbow Oxbow Renegade and an Oxbow Renegade 2.0X. The Oxbow Renegade 2.0X, I believe, just has Bluetooth. We didn't get the ones with Bluetooth just because we didn't really need it. As for the price of these, I'm pretty sure they're around $130. I'll put the price on the screen right here. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Before we start unboxing this, just gonna have a quick look over the box. It is a very nice box. As you can see there, it says ride harder, journey farther. These walkie talkies are designed for snowmobiling. As you can see on the back there, if you wanna pause the video and read that, there's all the specs. There's some more text if you wanna pause the video and read that. It includes one radio, one battery, AC adapter, USB-C charging cable, shoulder strap mount, and hand strap. We got our Oxbow Renegade 2.0 instruction manual. Here is our universal shoulder strap mount. This looks a lot like a GoPro mount. I was looking at it when we bought these things and I was like, man, that looks a lot like a GoPro mount. This is definitely a GoPro mount, so I am wondering if I'm able to use some of my GoPro accessories with this walkie talkie. That'd be kind of neat. Here is our hand strap. We have a USB to USB-C cable. Let's see how long it is. That's a decent length. We also get a charging brick. The charging port is USB-C. Last but not least, we have the walkie-talkie itself. Very nice. This is your speaker and microphone here. As you can see, it's got this frog skin cover on it. And that is because they were having trouble with moisture getting into the walkie-talkie here and ruining it, so they partnered with frog skin and now every time you buy one of these walkie talkies it comes with a frog skin on it coming around to the side here we have a headphone and microphone port i wonder if you could fit a normal pair of headphones in the headphone port nope it's one of those weird like small sort of headphone ports Microphone, I'm pretty sure they sell a microphone you can plug in here and then you can clip it to your shirt. Battery lasts a really, really long time. I'm not sure how long it is. I read it on the website somewhere and I'm pretty sure it was like one to two days, but don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure. The battery is removable here. So you pull this little lever down and then you pull your battery out. The charging port is built into the battery, so you don't need to use the walkie-talkie to charge the battery. The antenna here is removable. So I think that's everything on the outside of the walkie-talkie here. Let's go ahead and power this thing on. Okay, so I'll run you through what everything means real quick. I'm not sure how everything, everything works, but I got a basic understanding. I've been fooling around with this guy here for a little while and I figured out how to use most of the features. So on this side of the screen, we got our battery level. We're at half battery right now. Right here, we have what channel we're on. As you can see, we're on channel one. Channel one through seven is the highest, and then I think it's like 15 through 22 are also high strength, but you wanna stay on high strength channels. Right here we have plus and minus button. That's just to switch and cycle through different channels. Oh dear. So if you just push this button down here, that's monitor, it's just gonna... Back to the menu, over here we have our security code, so you can change the security code and stuff. Then we got a bunch of other lights up here. The TX button means you're transmitting, and then there's an RX that'll light up when you're receiving. There's a bunch of other little lights up here, not really sure what they do. Oh, brother, this guy 
guy stinks! You guys are gonna have to look that up because I am not a walkie talkie expert. Let's see if this is a GoPro mount because that would be very interesting if we could use GoPro mounts with this. Let's find out. Okay, so I got my tripod mount here for my GoPro and I'm gonna see if I can attach it to this. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nifty. Shoulder strap here. That's pretty nifty. I just got an idea. I'll be right back. Much, much, much later. Can we use a GoPro on the Oxbow mount? Let's find out. Nifty. All right, guys, so that's it for the unboxing. Let's take these guys outside and test them. So the footage I got of testing these walkie-talkies really didn't show anything. They didn't show the distance or anything because I didn't really have any idea how far away Dad was from me at the time. So here's a little clip of it so you can just sort of hear how the clarity of the walkie-talkie was at about two miles away from me. Yeah, I'm just turning on the tire switch road. Can you read me? I can read you. So overall, these walkie-talkies did really well. I think we made it four or five miles away from the house and still had pretty clear audio from these walkie-talkies. Now, of course, some spots are worse than others. It broke up just driving down the road a little bit and I can barely hear dad. But then he got even farther and we could hear him again. Low spots come into effect when he's higher. You can definitely hear better. When you're lower, it's a little harder, so. Just keep that in mind. It all depends really where you are. If you're in a very densely populated area, like in a city or something, walkie-talkies, they really just struggle because there's so many other interferences. But overall, these walkie-talkies worked really well. And if you're looking for a powerful, durable walkie-talkie, then I would definitely go with the Oxbow running a 2.0. But that's all I got for today. If you did enjoy this video though, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a goal of a thousand subscribers, so if you guys could just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you guys anything, but it really helps out the channel. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.